Hi guys, uh, this is Maliki and I'm going to try and set up a little resource to help you do your lower roof framing. You should be able to use the same approach for the upper roof framing but with the trusses. Anyway, if you look at the CAD notes we gave you, you'll know to use the first floor, drag it over onto the view map and then set up the view settings to show plan, roof framing, etc. Okay, the scale. Um, I'm not going to do that because this video could get quite long and I want to move on to the tricky parts. Um, my lower roof framing is really just showing me the lower roof, but I need to see uh, where my um, walls are that are going to support my rafters that I'm going to model. So what may be useful is to have the ground floor set up as your trace reference so the trace reference and if you turn that on we can then see the supports now before you model any um, rafters you need to know what pitch the roof is so this uh, drawing this model has some sections already I'm going to go in here and check and I can see my roof has got a pitch if I check the settings at 15 degrees so my rafters are going to be the same also I will want the top of my rafters to sit on the top of this fill that I've drawn as a wall plate because the wall plate will be at this level which is what we've been given at so our existing model maybe a roof has been modeled a little bit low but I'm going to put some rafters in and try and make sure they're reasonably close to this point but let's try and model them first. So let's go to lower roof framing. I'll go to the beam tool. Now I've just put in some standard sizes. Uh, you can try it at zero from the story first. Uh, the story it's going to be on is first floor because that's the one we dragged across. And here the important thing is to check that the pitch is the same as a roof. This is not a 3604 size, so please resolve those sizes yourself and check the width also. Uh, I'm just now going to draw my beam so I'm just going to zoom in and draw a beam from here and get it right over to the edge of this wall. Now uh, I want to see that beam so I'm just going to go into the section again and see where it is and my beam is a bit low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that up, just put it up to about here, okay, and that kind of represents a bird's mouth. Now my beam should be uh, basically my if I select my beam, I can see that my roof actually is in this model very close to the top of the beam, which is where I want it because that's where the purlins are going to span onto. The other thing to watch out for is that we want to trim back the beam at the eaves. So how I'm going to do that is go back into my lower roof framing. I'm going to zoom in at that beam and I'm going to split it. Keep this one selected. So I just to go over that again, I selected the split tool and I just drew an imaginary line from here down here and split my beam and I've now got another one. So this is two beams. If I open up the settings for this one I'm going to cut it back to something like 90 and what I want to do now is I'm going to select this beam with the other one and I'm going to try and group them together so that they'll behave as one kind of entity. Now that's been selected so I just want to see what that looks like so let's zoom in and you can see that my beams have been cut back now it's not ideal because this is probably going to be a straight cut in real life but for a 1 to 50 section it should meet our purposes. Now when I go back I'm happy with that I'm just going to drag it over to the edge of my wall and then I'm going to go uh, I think it's distribute run move multiply which you can go as control U and you'll have worked out spacings from three, six and four. I have just guessed them here, so please don't just copy those. And then I'm just gonna drag it all the way down, pretty much to the bottom. 
as close as I can get. That looks like enough. Now, what you'll find is we have a bit of a problem going around the corner. So what I'm going to do is, because these beams are grouped, I cannot split them. So I'm going to select these beams. I'm going to edit grouping on group. And what that lets me do is that I can select these beams individually. I hope I can grab it. Here we go. And now I should be able to split them. And I'm going to use the ridge line of the roof as my cutting. And then I just delete those. Okay. Now what we can do then is I can grab this, this one. And it's up to you whether you want to group these again. It may be slightly quicker to do that. But basically, I'm just going to grab these. And what we'll do is we'll just have a look at it in 3D. And if I can just kind of turn around, you can see there's some jack rafters. If I go back outside to my plan, I'm just, I'm in the beam tool, go control A and do the same thing. You're seeing then that there's a, a couple of renegade beams from my pergola. But the main ones that I am, I've just done all the work on recently are these ones that you can see are cut. And you can see these little jack rafters. Now what we want to do then is uh, you can see that I've got a section cut through here because I'm going to actually drag this uh, a copy of this rafter. And I'm going to go edit, move, drag a copy. And I'm going to drag it. Zoom right in and make sure I get this, put it right on the corner. And then I want to rotate it because I want it to go all the way down the hip. So I'm just going to go uh, rotate, control E. And you should zoom right in and make sure you get things correct. And then make sure you get it on this line. So if you get any little... Now what I did, I made a great mistake there. I should have highlighted that axis first. And then got it onto this one. And that's my copy for my hip rafter. Now you can see the hip rafter is too short. So I'm going to ungroup that one. And this can be quite tricky. So I'm going to actually grab the little one at the bottom first. And drag it. Right down. To the corner. And then I'm going to stretch it. To bring it up to here. I'm then going to grab this rafter and take it all the way down and make sure it lines up with that one. Now you'll see that I have actually put a working section in here and you'll see why perhaps in a moment. Um, I'm going to do a 3D of all those beams and you can see why I've done the section. So if I go Control A and do this. Now this is quite unusual because for some reason that beam has decided to line up perfectly but the first time I did it this beam was the same pitch as these which meant it was uh, 15 degrees and it was the wrong height and it was the wrong pitch so basically you may have to go into your section and check the pitch of that so this is why I had drawn this section prepared it so if I go in there you'll have to maybe measure and say okay what pitch is this along this line and you can see that it's 10.76 or 7.23 that's okay Archicad has been very helpful in that uh, little modeling exercise but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the trace reference but what I can do is I can just select a whole lot of these beams uh, that one that one, that one, that one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror a copy of them around the, uh, and I'll probably do one of these as well. Just go edit, move, mirror copy. And again, zoom right in to make sure you get this correct. Put them here, and hopefully you'll get a marker there. 
And that's going to bring us around the corner with a roofing. And then you just distribute this one again using the 3604 that you had. Now once you get one of those done, um, what we can do is we basically, the ones down this side are just going to be a mirror copy of that. So I'm going to draw a marquee tool. I'm going to select the beam and go Control A. And the only ones I want to copy are these ones in here. So I'm just going to deselect that, deselect that. And I had a line drawn here between the walls of the entrance stairwell because I want to use that to uh, edit, move, mirror, copy. And hopefully I can just pick this up and then go like that. And I'll get rid of my marquee by just clicking once and getting rid of it. Now what I'm going to do is just go into the beam tool and go control A, function F4. And if I put everything in there, you'll see that we've got quite a reasonable attempt at the roof framing. Zoom right in. You'll see they've been trimmed off and at 1 to 50 it's pretty good. Morph tool is more accurate, but there's, as we always say, there's more than one way of doing things and this will be sufficient especially for generating a 2D drawing.